In this video, I'm going to show you literally how to stop your flute falling apart. This is a little mechanics lesson that is really worthwhile knowing for anyone who plays or teaches the flute. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly improve your tone on the flute. So stick around if you want to learn that for free. And I should tell you who I am. My name is Jane Kavanagh. My business is the Flute Teacher School and I started it because I love showing people the fundamental techniques of playing the flute that quickly improve their, their playing and make playing really so much easier when you know these little techniques that are the foundations for flute playing. Okay, so the other day a student came into one of her lessons. This is little Jade. She's about 13 and she was almost in tears because she had her flute in one hand and a whole section of her flute in the other hand. <laughs> and I had to stop from laughing because that would be really mean. <laughs> but she thought she'd broken her flute. And so I was shocked when I saw it because you don't see this very often at all. But I had seen it before and I know what had happened. And the first thing I said to her was, don't worry, it's not your fault. Because it wasn't. What had happened is one of the little tiny screws, actually, they're not tiny, they're quite long. One of the little screws in her flute, say here, had come out about, if you can see, about that far. And it would mean that the whole rod of her instrument had come off. It was actually the section here that had all of these keys. She So she had all of these keys in one hand plus a long rod, which was attached. So... The way that I fixed it was to put it back in place, find the screw. She still had the screw, which is pretty amazing, and then screwed it back in. Oh, I have to get the screwdriver that I used for this video. Just hang on a second. This is a glasses fixing screwdriver, which I got from the optometrist for about $1.50. You can also get musician's screwdrivers, but they're more expensive. Now, I am not going to tell you how to take apart your flute. I'm not going to tell you how to fix your flute because I am not an instrument repairer and neither are you, probably. And I don't think you should meddle in this because you can end up doing damage to your flute that then you have to pay lots of money to have repaired. But what I am going to tell you is a very quick fix that is very, very surface level, level and can stop your flute from falling apart like I explained in that happened to Jade's. If it falls onto the ground, it can break and that's expensive. So that's what we want to avoid. So I'm going to show you how to avoid um, this from happening, a whole section of your flute falling off, by just keeping an eye on these screws. I will get my flute. So if you have a look at your flute, there's a whole bunch of rods, and on the end of each rod, there's a little screw. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there, one there, and then on the thumb key, there's another two, and then here, there's another two, on the ends, where else? Down here, there's two. Now, if you see, let's take this one, for example. If you see that little screw coming out and it's sticking out beyond the end of this rod, it's a little warning sign. If you see it sticking out even further, it's a big warning sign because once it starts to come out further like this, that is when the rod and the keys with that rod can fall off your flute. So if you see it sticking out a little bit, little bit past the end of the rod, grab your screwdriver and screw it back in. So it does not need to be tight. If you do it too tight, things are going to get too tight in your flute and not work properly. So screw it so that it goes back in and it's flush again with the end. Now, so that you don't get all obsessive about this, I'll just give you an idea about how often this happens to flutes, which is not very often. Of my 25 weekly students, I see this happen to one or two of them each year. So it's very rare. But if you just keep an eye on those little screws, you can avoid something rather dramatic happening to your flute. So there you go. That little mechanics tip might well avoid one day your flute falling apart and breaking, which is expensive and stressful. Another note, some flutes this never happens to. Really high quality flutes like this one, I've never seen it happen with this one. So again, this is really rare. You might spend your whole life and never see it happen, but it's always nice to keep an eye on. Okay, about improving your tone quickly. 
If you go to www.flute.school slash free, I will teach you there how to instantly improve your tone with four little tips. The first three get your tone really clear and the fourth one makes playing high notes so much easier. It's a masterclass, it's free, and you are totally welcome to participate in it. So I will hopefully see you there.